he pop up on Carlton. Asking Carlton, what the hell's going on? Carlton, you good? Now, we know Carlton was getting slizzed up on the road on the way home. <laughs> he made it home with 10 minutes to spare. Well, Jeffrey comes in, and Jeffrey's questioning him, too. Also about who? Young Frederick. The only thing is, Carlton, he doesn't want to have a guilty conscience. So Carlton tells the truth. He's like, look, 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 look. That night, we was drag racing, man. My bad, man. I apologize. I apologize. I, man, I just got to come clean with you, man. I had that on my chest, man. We was drag racing. Will was the one driving. I wasn't really driving. I was trying to stop him, but he insisted on driving, so I hopped in the car with him because he didn't know how to shift gears, and he double shifted at the beginning of the line, and he jumped off, and we got behind, but I had to tell him a shortcut. I hit the clutch, and then he did hit the clutch, and then I hit the handbrake, and it was just crazy that night, Jeffrey, but I had to tell you this. It was fucking crazy, man. I promise you, man. I didn't mean to do it, but we had to do it. I just didn't want that on my conscience, man. It's already hard. I'm fighting demons. And Jeffrey's like, Carlton, I don't give a fuck about none of that. You know what I'm here for. And Carlton's like, all right, well, listen. Listen. Whatever. I don't want to come in between you. I don't want to come in between you and Frederick. But look, I'm about to tell you the whole truth, man. That nigga Frederick is different, man. He been robbing niggas, man. He he threatened me and Will, man. Really, nigga, that nigga Frederick is different, Jeffrey. I don't know what you raised, but that nigga different, man. This ain't the bread and crumpets that he was eating over across the pond, man. This nigga Frederick was different. He down here beefing with the gangs, man. He, he blood, cuz, and cut rib. He all of the above out here, Jeffrey, man. I promise you, I'm telling you the truth. Jeffrey like... <laughs> Carlton, I'm not trying to hear that shit, nigga. I'll, whatever going on with Frederick, I'll handle that. Jeffrey leaving the room. Carlton over here still telling, talking about, man, I was doing coke in the bathroom. I got drugs in my in my drawer over there. Jeffrey like, nigga, Carlton, I don't care about none of that shit. My job is to make sure you were home by curfew. Man, I gotta go see what this nigga Frederick is on. So <laughs> Carlton telling everything. Carlton, look, Carlton came home. Amira cleared this young man's mind. That, that cleared that nigga called his mind. That nigga came home and started telling everything. Hillary kissed jazz. Actually likes girls. Uh, 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 Uncle Phil, uh, Uncle, uh, my dad, he kissed Erica. Well, Erica kissed him. Oh, my God, I don't know. And it's just so much shit going on, man. Like, damn, Carlton. Amira did that to you. She didn't clean your system. And now you over here telling every Jeffrey, like, hey, Carlton, calm down, nigga. <laughs> I ain't no rat or nothing. I ain't about to go tell Phil all of this shit. I'm going to handle shit at the base level. You always want to handle it at the lowest level. So he gets up out of here. And this is one thing I got to point out to y'all. You know, I be on them phone numbers. Well, Jeffrey goes to Frederick's room. Frederick is taking a shower. Now, if you know anything about international phone numbers, everyone has their own country code. In America, we're plus one. So whenever I dial an American number, I got to call to call to the States. I got to put plus one, then their area code and their phone number. So every country has its own country code. Now, where they messed up was this phone number that... Frederick is dialing is not, I repeat, this is not a UK country code. This is a Czech country code. The UK country code is plus four, four. So why does she have a Czech Republic country code? That was one thing I seen. I was like, wait a minute, that ain't right. So when we were watching this before we got into episode five, I was like, who the hell is he calling? So I'm thinking it's a part of the game. And every night he's calling 10 03 a.m., 10 44, 11, 11, Yeah, I thought Frederick was talking to one of the gangs over in the UK. But when I seen the country code, that's just me looking at it. I'm looking at it like, wait a minute.
That ain't right. Oh, man, that ain't it there. Come on, man. Where's it at? Man, they ain't got these in order. The United Kingdom is 44. So I was like, wait a minute. Who is he calling on the 42 number? Of course, you know, America, we number one. USA, USA. Plus four, four. I mean, plus four, two. Country code. See, it was previously used by the Czech, then the Czech Republic and Slovakia. See, the Czech Republic adopted 420, so you just got to throw the two in front of it. Slovakia got the 421. Now, like, who the hell is he calling in the Czech Republic? But Uncle Phil found that burner phone. Now, I didn't even know you could make international calls on this kind of phone. The best app to download is WhatsApp. Use WhatsApp. That's all I text people on is WhatsApp. It's encrypted, and you can text around the world, and you can make free phone calls on there, and you can video chat for free. I know people, Ooh, if you got an iPhone, but everybody in these other countries, they ain't got iPhones. iPhones is really only big in the States, like in the UK, but a lot of these other countries, they're on Android phones. Just FYI. But he goes in here, and he fires this phone, and he's like, damn, he's calling somebody every single night. So now he's very, very suspicious of what's going on. He's talking about, hey, man, you want me to roll with you to the pub? DeMarcus said, thank you for that $2. Frederick could have stolen that money for Penelope. Shit, I think he was just taking it for himself, though. I mean, Penelope, she's in the night. That she, where she's staying at, you know she's praying to Penny. Uh, but, but, but I can't even stay right because it's a lot of money. You know Penny is paying a pretty penny. Jeffrey's crib is cool too. I ain't gonna lie, Jeffrey's crib is cool too. I wonder how much Phil is paying him a month. He probably getting about five thousand. No, he got to be making about like seven, eight thousand dollars a month working for Uncle Phil. But he's talking to Frederick, and he's suspicious because he found that burner phone. And Frederick's talking about he's going to the pub. One thing about those Brits, they be in the pub all the time. When it comes to football matches, they in the pub. They hit, they are watching Manchester United. They're watching Arsenal. They're watching all of it. They be in there. Oh, 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 oh. They be in there. I'm talking about lit too. And they be in there crying when they lose. Man, I've been over there and watched one of them match. I like, man, y'all a little too lit. Y'all a little too lit. The football matches get so crazy. You know why uh, the World Cup was going on? Well, not the World Cup, the, uh, the FIBA Cup was going on over here when I was going out to the Euro Cup uh, matches. The Germans put out, they were putting out warnings to like the Brits and the French when they come to Germany, don't drink the beer, smoke weed, because they don't want them to be in the pubs brawling. Because when the Germans get with like the Brits, when it comes to like football, oh man, they be in there fighting. I'm talking about brawling, bro. I'm talking about they going at it. You really seeing glasses flying. It ain't like the little hood stuff you see on the shade room. This shit be for real. I'm talking about niggas is jumping off the off the top rope. I'm like, how the hell they get this rope in here? They throwing people out the windows. They fighting on the curb. There ain't no shooting or nothing, but they in there going at it, though. <laughs> they told them, don't drink the beer because y'all get too crazy. But now Uncle Phil's like, all right, well, you don't want me to show up? Bet. I'm going to just follow your ass. And he ends up following him. He sees that Frederick don't even go to the pub. Frederick just walking around, hustling, nickel and diamond here and there, three car money. You don't know what Frederick doing out here on the block.
Oh, I forgot to put Frederick in there for his fade too. I think he's above five also. But Jeffrey calls him out. He's like, man, you see the score? They scored. He's like, oh, yeah, 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 they did. He said, but you don't have to be following me. What are you following me for, bruv? He's like, you don't have to have a burner phone. And right then and there, Frederick knew he was called up. So he's like, who you been calling? You been going in there faking, acting like you washing your hands? So the whole time, I'm just like, y'all, I'm thinking Frederick is calling the games. He's letting them know where Jeffrey is. That's how they were making it seem. I was like, oh, shit, here we go. Who's Jeffrey about to get into it with? Because Jeffrey said, well, I'll just follow you all day. I don't know where you be going throughout the daytime, but I'm going to just follow your ass. So Frederick's like, damn, because wherever he was going, he had to be there. So I'm like, man, it's about to go down. And when they were walking in that hallway, I'm thinking they about to go into like Romans because who was thinking, honestly, when they get up there to see Penelope, that she was about to have this nice condo in the middle of downtown L.A. I'm thinking, how she got this money? How is she living like this? And then we go in there and we see Penelope. I'm like, oh, my goodness. Oh, my heart almost skipped a beat. I said, she's, she's amazing. The accent. Oh, it just does something to my, oh, I got scoliosis now. Oh, Lord, she's breaking me down. I said, Oh, she's magnificent. Just smells 10 times better in here. The atmosphere is different. So get focused, Mo. Get focused. We're here for a real reason. And I'm like, snap out of it, Mo. But I just, I was mesmerized. I was confused. I was cross-eyed. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't gather my words or my thoughts. And I was like, whoa, my, I'm no. Uh, Now nah, I snapped out of it. She said, you left us. He said, I didn't want it to be that way. I was in the trenches. She said, I was in the trenches with you too. I said, oh. Oh. That just makes it 10 times more attractive. She was in the hood. She was holding it down. She was holding the stabber for my boy Jeffrey. While Jeffrey was out here doing lord knows what the devil's work she was holding it down she was out here with him on the grind i said oh i'm glad we didn't have to get to no pistol play oh the whole time frederick has been calling his mom his mom is over here but the whole family is jeopardized now George. <laughs> You just don't know what type of situation we in, man. Not only that, Jeffrey was like, man, I've been living a good life over here. And now y'all came over here. Y'all low-key messing up, you know what I'm saying? Putting eyes, uh, you know what I'm saying? Putting eyes on me, putting the spotlight on me. But I got to protect y'all, man. Frederick found where Jeffrey was. Brought his mom over here and was keeping her in touch, knowing where Jeffrey was. I'm surprised Jeffrey didn't find this out earlier. Mm. But I guess Jeffrey was just. Ooh, I'm blinded by the lights. <laughs> this is a beautiful woman right here, y'all. You're witnessing almost perfection. Mm -mm -mm. The accent and everything, and she be in the trenches. She be in the trenches. Well, we can go ahead and debunk that Frederick is a bad guy because all Frederick was doing was trying to find where his father was and let his mother know where his father was because Jeffrey had to leave. And that's what I was saying in the recaps in the first quarter. Jeffrey didn't leave because he wanted to, Jeffrey left because he had to. But even at this moment, we don't even know the seriousness of why Jeffrey left. We're just thinking he's into it with a game. But they both agree that there's only one person that can help them, and it's Roman. And that's who we were all 
thinking whoever the big dog is, whoever's looking for them, is the, the apartment or the condo that they was about to pull up to. So these two are like, we got to go talk to none other than Roman. He's the only person that can help. Nah, Frederick ain't bad. What did Frederick do that was bad? Frederick won the bets. Like, he legitimately won in those bets. They wanted their money back. Oh, well, come and get it, sucker. But anyway, we go and we meet up with Roman. And Roman is the OG Jeffrey. Now, seeing Jeffrey, it's like, damn, that was a good moment right there. Jeffrey was a cool, my bad, my bad, G. G was a smooth, cool brother. One thing about OG Jeffrey, OG Jeffrey used to get some shots off on Phil. Phil would say something. Jeffrey used to take them shots at Phil. That's one thing I always liked about Jeffrey's character. Jeffrey used to wild out too, but Jeffrey, he was getting a. When Uncle Phil used to say something to him, like, yeah, okay, you need to lay off them donuts. Jeffrey used to get them little, you know what I'm saying, little shots in, but he would also get the job done. But seeing him, Play the other side, the dark side. Talking about the organization is, well, they're in shambles. Ever since you took out the head of their operation. I said, the head of the operation? Wait a minute. Jeffrey was that deep in the game? Jeffrey took out the head of the operation. But he ain't standing there. He, hey, one thing Jeffrey ain't going to do is let him... Penelope's talking about, hold on, listen to him. Let's listen to him. He's the only person that can help. Jeffrey's like, nah, fuck that. You're not about to be disrespecting me up in here. You're not about to tell me what I can and can't do. Who you think you are? This ain't this ain't London town. This ain't Camden town. Oh, shout out to London. They got the Notting Hill Carnival this weekend. I wish I could go. But nah, Jeffrey ain't standing for that. Roman was like, you going to stand for it. Jeffrey said, oh, what? They said, you got to come back and work off that debt. Jeffrey said, and if I don't do it, then what? Well, <laughs> collateral will just be Frederick. And that right there puts Jeffrey. Jeffrey like, wait a minute. If I... Don't go back to the UK. They gonna come to the US and get Frederick. But if I go back to the UK, I work off my debt. Frederick gets to stay here. But how do I? And they and they set me free, right? Are they gonna set me free when I work off my debt, or is it I come over here work off my debt? They go and get rid of Frederick, and then they get rid of me. I need some some reassurance on how this is gonna work. If I go, or how about how about this? How about this? If I don't go to the UK, I stay here in the US. They come and get Frederick. They off Frederick. Does that mean I'm in the clear? Like, am I am I good to go, or is there still something else that's old out there? Because all of these thoughts are going on in your mind right now. If you've never been in a real life situation, this is what's going on. You got these scenarios racing. Or how about we send Frederick over there? Frederick got that US hustle. We take Frederick back. Y'all let Frederick work off the debt. And then y'all just let Frederick free. Because Frederick lives over there. I live over here in the States. Would, would that be able to work? We send Frederick over there. Frederick work off the debt. Or what about? Well, I got another scenario. I got another scenario. Uh, uh, uh. My bad. I'm, I'm, I'm flustered right now. I, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out the best situation for all of us to win. All right, Roman, look, here we go. We see Frederick and Penelope back. Both of them work off the debt because two people working is two times faster than me working by myself. They both work off the debt, and then they both go free, and I just stay here in the U.S. Because I, I got I got some work to do on my own over here. Would that scenario work? Oh no, I, I got to go over there. Is there any? Because I don't have that much leave build up, Roman. So is there any way 
Like I can go over there, let's say every two months I work like for the weekend. I come over there like a, a Wednesday to a Sunday. I put in that work like Thursday morning to Saturday just so I can have, you know, Saturday off. Can I, can I kind of work like Thursday to Saturday and then fly back Sunday and then come back like two months? Like how much money are we talking? Like I got to actually work off. Like what, what kind of work are we talking? Like assassinations, uh, robbery, extortion. Like what are we talking about? Like when you say pay off this debt, that's kind of vague. I need uh, like specific details. Kick doors, um, drugs. You just got to work off whatever they tell you. Mm -hmm. How much time do I got to think on that? I got a week. You give me a week, maybe two weeks. <laughs> but he told him straight up, man, you got to go over there or are we going after Frederick. Then he said he looked like Uncle Charles. Man, I miss my Uncle Charles, y'all. And he should be home in front of his own. <laughs> uh, all right. Let me see something. Speaking of Uncle Charles. I got something for y'all. Speaking of Uncle Charles, you brought this up. I sent this to Eric earlier. Hold on. <laughs> they had Arnold Schwarzenegger singing Boom Thugs in Harmony, man. Oh my gosh. Oh, classic, <laughs> classic BS. All right. So <laughs> after this, um, well, I didn't get the screenshot. Oh, I, I got uh, I got this. So inside that punching bag that they've been practicing on this whole time, <laughs> and you do like Uncle Charles right here. Inside the punching bag, they got all of the British pound. Now, it's weird over there. In uh, so in London, you got is they call it pounds, they call it quid. That's that's the that's the name of their currency over there. So you got pounds, you got quid. I forgot what they call like the change over there, but yeah, man, he had all the 50 pieces over there. The 50, he had the old 50s though. They still had the queen on it. I think the king just gets I think the king gets put on the new currency. I think it was either August or September of this year. I need to go over there and get some new currency with the king on it. I got the queen, I got the old queen bill and the new queen bill. But um yeah, man, he gives him the money. And I think we're not going to see Roman anymore because he said, you owe me. So make that money work. Because initially they were telling him he had to go back. But he was like, uh, you owe me one. So I think this is the last time we go see Roman. But let me know what y'all think about mother freaking Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeffrey. Let me see something. Oh. 